What's up YouTube, I'm Mike and today I'm back with another Trend Rant video. Uh, you guys have probably been missing out on this content for quite a while that I have been uh, basically not even reading the comments. I've probably missed a, f a fucking plethora of, of available uh, idiocy to comment on, but I've been so busy with real life for once that I haven't really even had time to read the comments. As you will know if you've been following my last videos, I am back in all forms and functions. Uh, my, my body has finally acclimated to the sleep schedule. I am ma I'm massively in the middle of a trend come up and I can feel the trend blown flowing through my veins in a massive way. I just woke up. So given, given the topic of this video, be forewarned, this is my puffy morning face. Uh, I actually, before I started going, before I went back to work, I shot a lot of videos first thing in the morning with puffy morning face because I'm not my, my channel is not I'm not this is not a makeup channel this is not a fucking glam up channel I don't give two shits what my face looks like but some of you in the audience have clearly developed quite the man crush on me and love to talk about what my face looks like I don't know why this has any bearing on anything other than as a really great way for most of you to show your fucking abject stupidity. So what did I wake up to today? I actually woke up in a great mood. I woke up at 8.30 on a Saturday. I don't think that's ever happened. I couldn't sleep any longer. I kept trying to like stay in bed and I just kept waking up. And so I, I got up, I got my energy drink and I opened up the comments section to see how the old YouTube channel has been going along in my absence. And what did I wake up to but PJ Washington dash XR dash 1KL in the comments. This is something that I get really not infrequently. And it seems to be like the star studded way of showing what a complete and total fucking moron someone is. They love to talk about my face in videos. Oh, well, your face is looking really puffy, Mike. Well, your face is this or your face is that. You know, it's easy to make comments about my face. For one, it's the thing you see the most. But notice how my face looks right here. Let my camera adjust. Notice how my face looks right here and how it looks right here. Oh wow, look at the difference in my face. If I was to shoot the video a little bit further back, let's do some testing. Let's change the focal length like this and let's me get back here and get a different frame to the video. I can change the way my entire body and face look relative to one another simply by changing the focal length and the distance at which I shoot videos. The reason that you get my fat face right up in the screen most days is because the reason that I have been able to produce so much content before I got back to work is I found out that it's easy for me to just set my camera down on this, um, on this desk. I've got a light right overhead. And so this, this setup is really easy for me to bang out the maximum amount of content. But if I start getting excited in the video and I get in here, it changes the way my fucking face looks. Isn't that amazing? Isn't relativity amazing? Then what you have to take into consideration is um, this thing called time. You may have noticed I get gray hairs all in my beard. Right now it's time for me to go dye it again. Yes, I dye my beard because if I didn't dye my beard, you, it would be like 80% gray, except it's not really gray, it's more like white. Like I'm, I skipped gray altogether and went straight to white hairs. So you'll notice if you happen to be of apparently the gay persuasion and you spend more time like ogling my body. Ooh, look at Mike's shoulders. Look at the veins. Let's, let's dissect his face. Is he looking puffy this morning? Does he have bags under his eyes? Oh boy, what can I see from Mike today? I don't know why there's so many fucking losers in my audience that seem to be so obsessed with the thing that, ma that matters the least to a bodybuilder. Please, somebody in the audience tell me the bodybuilder who lost a fucking competition because the judges were like, well, you know, you know, he actually came in perfect condition. He had nice, tight, peeled abs. His quads and hammies were striated. He looked vacuum peeled. Everything on his body was phenomenal. But I just kind of noticed like a little bit of puffiness to the cheeks. And so we gave him 12th place. 
It's never fucking happened. I'm not a fucking, I'm not a model, okay? My objective is not to have the prettiest face fucking possible. It's to have big, boulder shoulder fucking delts with cuts in them and veins everywhere. And if you endeavor to do this, your hormones will go up and down. Primarily estrogen will go up and down. This can cause bloating of the face. If I'm on a massive bulk, my face is going to be fatter looking than if I go into a cut. If you look at any of your favorite bodybuilders, when they're on prep, they all start to look like skeletons. And when they're not on prep for some period of time, they look relatively normal. And then when they're on in the off season, they all look like they have fucking moon face. Because they're eating, I, like when I'm bulking, I eat 600 grams of carbs a day. Yeah, that's going to put some fucking water in my face. Sometimes I'm taking GH. I'm always taking MK677. So what comment do I wake up to this morning? From Paul, uh, excuse me, PJ Washington dash XR dash 1KL fucking douchebag. He says, steroids having an effect on your face and appearance, bud. First of all, we're not buds. I can't fucking stand you. I fucking hate people like you. People like you are everything that's wrong with the world. Do not call me your fucking bud. We're not buds. We're not friends. I wouldn't piss on you to put you off. To, to, to put you out if you were on fire. There is absolutely nothing I would do on this fucking planet to help a low-life sack of shit like you. So rest assured, we are not butts. So you can leave that shit out of your fucking comment. Um, the, uh, steroids having an effect on your face and appearance, bud. Hope it was worth it. You looked so good in February of 2021. Now, not so much. Thank you for coming out of the closet, PJ Washington. Why the fuck would you possibly, as a straight man, get on another man's bodybuilding channel and take the time to tell him how different, how, how different his face looks in 2024 compared to 2021? Okay, so see, this person I'm firing on right now is clearly not just some random troll. This guy's been watching my channel for a fucking long time. He's just been a total loser sack of shit for a long time if this is the way he views my content. So he sits around and he views my content probably while self-abusing and he likes to get off to the way I look and now he's not so much in love with my 43 year old face. Yeah, that's the other thing, dipshit. It's not just the steroids that change the way I look. There's this thing called time and it affects everyone. And you, when you, it affects you too, but notice how these motherfuckers shit-talking pieces of shit never have pictures of themselves. Hey, hey, PJ, why don't you drop your fucking Instagram profile and unlock that bad boy in the comment section so we can all take a look at how good you look. Let's see what you look like in 2021 compared to 2024. Of course I look better in 2021. I was three years younger. What a lot of you young people don't understand is that your bodies don't change hugely from like 20 to 25. When you go from 40 to 45, that shit falls apart real fast. That's one of the reasons that my wife and I started making all this spicy, sexy content on certain other platforms. Because I recognize that this is as good as we're ever going to look. We are only every single day that goes by, PJ, if you continue watching this channel, whether I do steroids or not, I, my face is never going to look better than it does today. It can't. I'm only going to get older. I'm only going to get more wrinkled, more tired looking, more marks, age marks, spots. All of the things that happen to a body as it ages, those things are going to continue to happen to me. And they're going to be more and more apparent as time goes on because I'm not one of these douchebag Hollywood stars who goes out constantly and gets their face stretched back and filled full of Botox so that they can look like a 25-year-old lizard, as Bill Burr famously said. I don't have a problem with the way my face looks. I don't care about my little fucking wrinkles and crow's feet and shit like that. I have a couple of eye creams that I use sometimes if I'm getting shitty sleep and I get the bags under the eyes, but honestly, I haven't even been using that recently because I don't think anybody at the office really gives two fucks about the bags under my fucking eyes. So why you would make a stupid fucking comment about how my face looked so much better when I was 41 compared to 44? No shit, dumbass. Of course it looked better at 41 than 44. It's going to look better today than it's going to look at 47 or 50. Can you get the logic together there, bud? 
I'm going to keep getting worse looking in my face every day that goes by. If I continue to do this long enough, eventually my body is going to start to look old instead of like a fucking god that it does today. The fact that my body, that I have no stretch marks at all anywhere on my frame, that I don't have wrinkles, that I can be 43 years old and go to the gym today and have a nice, ripped, shredded, peeled aesthetic, eating whatever the fuck I want, that shit is amazing for a man of my age. When I fell off of my fucking diet for 10 days and lost a couple of pounds instead of getting fat and flabby, that is the epitome of badass fucking genetics. I am very genetically gifted to be able to maintain the physique that I maintain year round. And you've got some no picture, no name, fucking douchebag loser piece of shit that's gonna come along and go, well I don't know Mike, I think your face looked better when you were three years younger. Fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, you fucking idiot. Obviously it did. So, luckily for me, I'm not a face model. I've got a girl. I've already accepted the fact that I'm going to continue to get older and older and older. And I'm going to keep making content every fucking day that I get older and older and over, not giving two fucks what people like you think. So why don't you... Put your fucking money where your mouth is and let's see some pictures of what you look like in 2021 and what you look like in 2024. My guess is that you're a chronically online incel who hasn't got any pussy in fucking 10 years and probably has a fucking neck beard. You're probably almost certainly a low life sack of useless shit. But, and so what you do is you watch content from people like me. People who are veritable fucking gods in the community. I am everything you want to be and will never be, no matter how many steroids you do, no matter how much protein you eat, no matter how many fucking gods you suck off, you will never fucking look like me, and that's what you can't cope with. So you thought that you were going to come along and knock a chink into my fucking armor by poking fun at the way my face looks like today versus the way it looked like three years ago, and all you did was give me a reason to make some of the, some of the content that my fans love the most. They seem to love to watch my skin turn to this fucking brutish shade of red that, sus that suspiciously matches the interior of my wife's new BMW and uh, hope that I have a fucking aneurysm on camera. It seems that if I continue to make this content long enough, that's almost certainly inevitability. I can't imagine how I haven't popped one already. So thank you, PJ Washington, for being a low-life sack of ignorant shit and giving me the motivation that I needed to get back to some of my more fiery content that a large cross-section of my audience loves. I would love for you to respond to the comment so that you can give me even... Let's see if he did. Let's check. Let's check. Maybe he's going to give me some more ammunition before I get off camera. PJ Washington. Nope. That's the thing. They like to come by and like strafe. You know, they're not really trying to take a shot at you. They just kind of strafe and hope they hit you with something that works and gets a little attention. Well, congratulations, PJ. Thank you for sacrificing yourself to the trend, God, and giving me an excuse to make some more fired up fucking content than I have been making in a while. I'm going to make another video probably today talking about how the trend God has bestowed gifts of bounty on me. That's right. As I told you before, I had been losing weight since I started my new job. On day one of my new job, I sold a fucking industrial truck with a shit ton of profit in it and had the best start to my new job that I could possibly have. Last night, I, was, I stepped onto the scale and I'm back to 211 pounds at night, baby. So I put three pounds back onto my frame without even trying after just getting a couple of gym workouts and focusing a little bit on my calories. So my weight's going back up. My E2's coming back into line. I'm fucking killing it at work already. I'm still able to make the content I want. And I still have the trend fire in me to take the heads off of people like PJ fucking douchebag Washington. So, as always, thank you for continuing to watch this channel. Rest assured, this guy is not gone. It is not gone. It's just the fact that I have not been reading comments. I have not been exposed to the world at large yet. I have not gotten co totally comfortable in my new space. I'm trying to be careful not to say anything too negative about work, which honestly right now I don't have anything negative to say at all. Things are going phenomenally. I'm making money right out the gate. I'm having success right out the gate. Uh, basically things couldn't be any better than they are right now. So 
I was in the fucking dumps a week ago. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. PJ Washington thought he was going to steal some of my fucking thunder. And that shit will never happen because I do not give a fuck about what you think. I do, however, enjoy using you as fucking cannon fodder to make trend rant videos. So there you have it. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.